This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Al Holland Jr. enters his second season as the head coach of the Upike Bears. This time last season, he took over the job on an interim basis before assuming the full head coach title on October 1st. The Bears finished 5-6 and six overall and 4-2 and two in the East Division of the Mid-South Conference. Coach Holland admits last season was a roller coaster, and this season he looks for more consistency on the field. A lot of ups and downs last year, you know, a lot of different situations that some head coaches might not never experience uh, throughout their careers, you know, lo losing big leads and uh, losing on the last play of a game. But, you know, those are experiences and, you know, those are things that we go back and practice now and in those types of situations to prepare kids moving forward. Um, but, you know, it was a it was a roller coaster last year, but we finished strong and the guys started to buy in late into the season. And that was our push to, to finish third place in, in the conference. The 31st annual Community Trust Bank WYMT Pike County Bowl is a week and a half away and today the kickoff luncheon in Pikeville. Head coaches represented their respective schools in the bowl. There is of course the six Pike County teams with the addition of Letcher County Central and Tates Creek. Pike County Bowl committee member Brett Keene says this bowl continues to benefit all the schools involved. Well, it gets everybody excited because it's the, really the start of the football season here in the mountains. And uh, we always have marquee games and, and good matchups. So I think everybody, after, uh, after having the summer off, they get excited to, to see some athletics and to see football season get started. Well, a lot of the football programs rely on this bowl uh, to help fund their, their season, basically. So, uh, you know, in 31 years, we've donated over $743,000 back to the schools and that they can use for their program. For the first seven games in 2014, Leslie County appeared to have everything going for it, but a first round loss in the playoffs into the Eagles season. Jamie McCracken is with the Eagles in the next preview in our 40 teams in 20 day series. The Leslie County Eagles started the 2014 season 7-0, but finished 8-3. The year before that, when we were three and eight, you know, it, we was very satisfied with last year, the way we played, and as a team, it felt like we growed as a team and got better. Coach Melton's team loses 11 seniors off that squad and only has four on the team this year. One of those is quarterback Kevin Whitaker, who accounted for more than 1,900 yards in the air and 24 touchdowns in his junior campaign. Kevin's a a very tough athlete, you know, not only can he throw the ball, he's physically tough, he runs the ball and, and a great leader for us. So, you know, that's when times get tough and we, we need an extra yard, we need a big play, you know, Kevin's one that we turn to. Everybody's looking real well. Our running game's coming along a lot. Uh, we're receiving a lot better this year. We're returning uh, two starting receivers from last year. Had a lot of catches. Uh, our young guys are really stepping up. Have two freshmen from last year really making a big difference on the defensive line. Leslie beefs up its schedule in 2015 at Williamsburg, at South Laurel, and at Whitley County. The mindset is to play against bigger schools and better competition to prepare for a playoff run. The biggest thing that he said is that we're not going to be like last year because he's, he's changed a lot. Whenever it would rain, we would just lift and go home, but now it rains, we come down and practice and stay on the field. More mental toughness than anything. The Eagles are focused on not having another letdown. In Leslie County, Jamie McCracken, WYMT Mountain Sports.